S&P 500 and NASDAQ closing at all-time highs. The Dow up, gold up, real estate. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another TrendSpider technical analysis series video. Today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Analyst Estimates tool. Now, in order to fully utilize this tool, one must first understand exactly what an analyst estimate is. In short, analysts are individuals, investment banks, or financial services companies that provide ratings that reflect their expectations for a security. For example, an analyst may issue a buy, hold, or sell rating, or what have you. Understanding this sort of information can help a trader to make a more informed decision. So let's dig into the tool and the best ways to utilize it on the platform. First of all, there are two ways to visualize analyst data on the platform. The first way is you can click on the other data button here. Click on the three dots to the right, choose analyst estimates, say close, and those analyst estimates are going to appear as small colorful boxes at the bottom of the screen. If a box is all one color, that represents a reiteration of a previous estimate. So an all green box would represent a reiteration of a buy rating, a gray box would be a hold rating, and a red box would be a sell rating. In some instances, you'll see boxes that are half one color, half another. The left hand side is the old rating and the right hand side is the new rating. So in this particular case, this is an upgrade from a sell to a hold. If you hover over any box, text will appear that will show the name of the analyst that made the estimate, where they work, the day they made the estimate, and what the estimate was. Moving on. The second way to view this data is within the analyst estimate widget, which can be added into the sidebar by clicking the sidebar button, then add or remove. Down here, select add new, choose analyst estimates, and say done. At the top of the widget, we see this colorful breakdown of all analyst estimates that have been made on the name in the past year. Each row represents a different analyst. The dark boxes, they represent when an analyst has either reiterated or changed their outlook. For example, this analyst here, they had a sell rating about 10 months ago. That sell rating stayed in effect until about two months ago where they upgraded to a hold. It's remained a hold ever since. Another thing to quickly note is the distribution of colors. We can see clearly here on Apple that for the most part, analysts are quite bullish on the name with about 80% of the current estimates being buy ratings. Additionally, there are no sell ratings on the name. So a quick glance at this area tells us everything we need to know about the current feelings of analysts on the name at this time. Finally, at the bottom is a list of analyst estimates in chronological order. The top of the list being the most recent estimate and the bottom being the oldest. If you see an equal sign, that means that the most recent estimate was a reiteration. If you see an up arrow, that means it was an upgrade. If you see a down arrow, that means it was a downgrade. In addition, if you have a particular analyst that you like to follow, you can star them by clicking on their row. I'll do that here on New Street. Once starred, that particular analyst will remain starred on any symbol they've given a rating on over the past year. Now that we've learned what the tool shows us, let's go through a few ways to utilize the data on the platform. Now that we understand what the tool is showing us, let's put this data into use. One of the best ways to do so is within the scanner. On the platform, we can scan for analyst estimate data in a number of ways. To add the criteria, click Add Parameter, choose Condition, and choose Analyst Estimates. The next thing that we have to decide is when the report was released. Was it released a specific days ago? Was it released within the last X days? Or was it released today? I'm going to choose within the last X days, and I'm going to make this 25. We can also get more specific with the type of rating that the analyst gave. So click here. We can choose what analysts we're looking for. We could choose the action, whether it was an upgrade, a downgrade, confirm, or initiate. I'm going to go with upgrade in this case. And we could choose the ranking, whether it was a buy, hold, or sell. So maybe in this particular case, I'm specifically looking for upgrades to buys. Say apply. Let's also add some additional criteria to make this scan a little bit more powerful. 
Oftentimes, analyst estimates will come on the heels of earnings reports. So maybe we also want to look for names that have seen analyst upgrades and had an earnings report recently. So let's add that. Add parameter, condition, earnings date within the last X days, and I'm gonna make this 30. I've got my scan through list selected. I've got the current candle toggled on. I'm gonna run this scan, see what we find. The scan is completed running. I've got a list of names here. I've selected the first one and I can see clearly they had their earnings date. And then shortly thereafter, we had some upgrades here. So this name is meeting this criteria and it may be a name that we're interested in trading. Let's keep moving. Another neat way to utilize the analyst estimates tool is within the smart checklist. For those unfamiliar with the smart checklist, this tool is a widget that can be added via the sidebar, which allows us to define specific price indicator or other searchable criteria. It's going to check for that criteria being met on the chart and then automatically show us what is and isn't true at this time. In order to utilize these conditions in the smart checklist, we're going to need to save them as a script. We can do that by clicking script actions, choosing save as template. We're going to say recent by rating and say save. Now that it's listed over here, I know that it's saved as a script. I can close out of my script manager. I'm going to go to my sidebar here, say add or remove widgets. Down at the bottom, add new, choose smart checklist, say done. And then where it says choose script, I'm going to search by rating. Here's my script that I just made. I'm going to choose it. And it's going to load those two conditions into my smart checklist. And it's going to check whatever symbol I'm on on my chart to make sure that those conditions are true. I could see here two green boxes. That means this name is meeting both of this criteria. The next step here, I've got my watch list. What if I want to look and see if any of these names are meeting the criteria? As I click through names, you'll notice that the smart checklist is checking to see if the criteria is true on that name. I'm going to keep clicking through here. And I can see now on Square, Square is also meeting this criteria. So there you have it, folks, a quick rundown of the Analyst Estimate tool. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in another TrendSpider technical analysis series video soon. Happy trading, and catch you next time.